What's up, everyone? MCZX here, and it's the quarterfinals, y'all. It's the quarterfinals. That means we only got one, two, three, four matches. Four matches to cover here. Oh, and you're also tuned into the Smart Kingdom, you know, because that's what the channel is. If you weren't here, you'd probably be hearing some guy in a basement talking about Black Jack Mulligan and falling out of his chair. And that one caller that keeps calling it, hey, 10 minute podcast. Hey, hey, 10 minute podcast. Hey, baby. Hey. Diamond listener here. Love you. Love you. Appreciate you. Anyway, let's get to the quarterfinals. Abby Lathe versus Mercedes Martinez. Very hard-hitting match back and forth. You couldn't tell who was going to win this match, to be honest. I was pulling for Mercedes Martinez. Lathe did a weird crossbody that landed awkwardly. I'm recognizing that this entire tournament was supposed to be the rise of Abby Lathe. Nope. Psych. Just when you think Abby Lathe's about to go into the semifinals, that did not happen. Mercedes Martinez wins with a Fisherman's Buster. She has punched her ticket to the semifinals. Next up was Candice LeRae versus Shayna Baszler. Ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Shayna Baszler. I'm pulling for Shayna because she got to win. She got to win. I, I can't. Not saying that Candice LeRae can't beat Shayna Baszler, but at the same time, she has all this momentum behind her, man. Uh, there was a tope DDT by Candice LeRae. That was crazy. She used Johnny's submission for a big pop. You know the uh, cross face? She flips the arm up, and, it, and she does a little cross face. She did that one. And Shayna Baszler just said no to, like, all of that. She decides to freaking do a rear naked choke out of nowhere. Taps out Candice LeRae. And she held that choke for a long freaking time. Baszler is going to the semifinals. My lord, my lord. Clearly, there's some heat here. And I can tell we can get a story between these two women. If you make Candice LeRae versus Shayna Baszler storyline at NXT. Because I would assume everyone's going to be at NXT. That's that. Trifecta battle is going to be in the semifinals. Shayna Baszler is the Brock Lesnar of the tournament so far. And yeah, that's that. Tony Storm versus Piper Niven. Awesome match between the two. Loved it. I loved it. It was very technical to start off. And you probably wouldn't expect that from Piper. Because Piper's more of a powerhouse. But she kept up with Tony. And I gotta say... I love this match. From beginning to end, the pacing, the storytelling, the defeat, the victory. I loved this match. I love the test of strength spot along with the chain wrestling spot. That was great. A Piper hit the Piper driver and Storm somehow kicked out of it. And then freaking Tony hits a German from the second rope. And hits a leg drop from the top rope to take out Piper Niven. Tony Storm is going to the semifinals. That was a great match. I demand you to watch it. It's your homework. You must watch it. And finally, Kyrie Sane versus the big dog. Big dog to finish the big, big dog, Dakota Kai. Uh, I should have knew something was up because Dakota Kai let her hair down. I'm like, man, when a girl changes her hair... Drastic change is about to happen. Either she's about to win or she's about to lose. I said the big dog must lose to the pirate princess because why would Kyrie lose now? It, unless Dakota Kai is going to get pushed to the moon. That didn't happen though. Kyrie and Dakota put on pretty good match. Kyrie got most of the offense in early on. And then Dakota like kind of got some offense in. And she didn't get the most. Dakota hurt her knee, I guess, prior in the last match, and she sold her knee like throughout the whole match. Because of that knee, Kyrie took advantage of it and hit that elbow drop, and that was it. Good match between the two. Kyrie Zane is going to the semifinals to face Tony Storm, and JR, she's a pirate. You should know this by now. Now, what is my favorite match of this entire quarterfinals? It's clearly Candice LeRae versus Shayna Baszler. It sets up something for the future, and I hope we can get that later on in the future. I would hate for WWE to just pass on the storyline when they can have something that can last for a while. I mean, she made it personal by holding in the choke for so long. Also, I think we need to talk about the uh, WWE's version of the Four Horsewomen and the Four Horsewomen of the UFC. They had a little confrontation between the two. Last episode? Yeah, it was last episode. And she... Shayna Baszler's like, you know, she's walking. She does a little a pose with Ronda Rousey, Jessica King, and I forgot that other lady's name. And as Shayna's walking up the ramp, she kind of stares at uh, Bailey. 
Charlotte and Becky it just kind of does the four horsewoman pose and keeps on walking. I think we're getting something in the future. Maybe a Survivor Series uh, between Baszler and her crew versus Charlotte and her crew. This is it. You only got one more to go. It's the semifinals, y'all. Two matches to determine who's going to the finals. And that'll be that. I'm MCZX. You take care. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you at the semifinals video. Stay tuned. Take care. Later.